welcome back to the second channel guys today i didn't really plan on making this video but it's a really calm day out here nobody's around i'm the only one home and i got a really weird box really big box actually and i have no idea what's in it so i figured i'd just go ahead and open it up on camera and hopefully we'll figure it out together i mean if we don't figure it out together then uh well we may have a problem but i looked at it and i was like that's a pretty big box and i was kind of excited that it said my name on it usually guns come in this box but legally you can't order a real gun to your house but i have ordered an air gun recently i don't know if that's what's in here it might be but uh we're about to find out real quick i'm hoping it's an air gun but then again like i said i have absolutely no idea while we're opening up this box if you want to support the channel anyways recently a lot of videos on this second channel actually don't get demonetized y'all probably seen that coming since they're gun videos but hey if you do want to support the channel Go pick yourself up a KG pocket knife. I believe the blue ones and a few more colors are actually still in stock, so you can go pick those up. All right. Just just from reading where it came from gave me no idea what happened, so I don't know. Oh, okay, this is the air gun. This is actually really cool. Okay, this is a really nice air gun, too. This is the air gun right here. It's a Benjamin Maximus, and then I actually got the one that's a hunter version. Not really sure, but it came with a scope and a threaded barrel, and that's going to be really cool because I can actually get an air gun silencer which is legal completely legal and it's gonna hopefully be super quiet whenever we shoot it i'm pretty positive these are like brand new to the market i had to pre-order it but i'll be honest i'm really i'm really hoping that it's gonna be worth the wait if it meets what i'm expecting it's gonna be really nice but you know we'll just have to play around with it and find out from what i've seen online it seems nice though it's a pcp which means you pump it up a lot and then shoot it one at a time and what i mean pump it up a lot you pump it up before you shoot and then you can shoot multiple times without pumping again <laughs> i will say this if it don't have the threaded barrel i will kind of be disappointed but that's why i kind of picked this exact one even though it was on pre-order yeah it's got the threaded barrel just hope it's got normal threads that's my only hope anyways from what i'm looking at i'll give you a little bit of an up close looks like just a plain old synthetic bolt action i don't know pellet gun i guess the old pellet gun i had i'll be honest guys it just it just wasn't cutting it well actually the one benjamin the wood 122 i don't know if y'all remembered or not it the air tube on it the air, the air, I don't know. Whatever this thing is, it started leaking and everything, so it doesn't work. And then my 17 actually can't hit anything. The groupings are so inconsistent, kind of sad. But this in here, I'm hoping it should do a whole lot better. Well, that one's already cocked. I don't know what's up with that, boy. Great thing about this, and it does come with a scope, which is okay, because I actually make my own scopes, but... Since this is built for it, we'll go ahead and put this one on. This one is in 22 long rifle. I take that back. This one's in 22 caliber. I wanted the bigger pellet, obviously, so I could kill bigger things like squirrels and heavy duty pigeons. Another fun fact, my go-to pigeon hunting spot in that old abandoned house, it actually burned down, so I really don't need this gun anymore because I was specifically bought this gun for that exact house. Like, like I said a second ago, it, it burnt down. So we don't really have to worry about that anymore. This is interesting. Oh, this is a nice little scope. Mill dots and everything. That'll be really good for pellets, obviously. All right, now I got the scope on there pretty nice. Looking good and everything. Um, it's not it's not uh, permanently down or anything, but... I, I noticed something. Wasn't this, like, supposed to come with the thing that pumped it up? Because I don't have a thing to pump it up. Oh, sold separately. What about that? Nice. I think I can figure it out. I can probably take a, I don't know, I can probably take a bicycle pump too. But I'm gonna go ahead here for a second and finalize this. It's pretty nice. Okay, pretty sweet. Now it looks like we're pretty well ready to sight it in just about. This may be a sighting in video too. I didn't really plan on that happening, but. Okay, okay, that's kind of interesting. Maybe not sight in. That's what we need. We need something that can latch onto that. And maybe that's the same thing that uh, cars latch onto. Not really sure, honestly. Okay, change of plans. Maybe we're not going to sight it in today. I would like to see these threads, though. Okay, these look okay. I do have a complaint. I hate to say it. I already have a complaint about this air rifle. And it has to do with accuracy. So, uh, number one thing I notice. I'm moving the barrel. I'm moving the end of the... Are y'all seeing that? I'm moving the barrel. And the scope's not moving. I'm moving the barrel. I'm moving the barrel. That's not good, dude. That can't be good for accuracy. Maybe if this was a little bit tighter, we'd be okay, but it ain't tight. So, I don't know, man. I don't know how this can be accurate. They can't expect it to be accurate if the barrel moves. That's what was wrong with my 17. The barrel moved when the scope didn't. So, like, I don't know, guys. That just ain't gonna work. Also, supposed to come with a mag. It doesn't come with a mag. Is this even the one I paid for, bro? I don't know if this... I don't even know if this is the one I paid for. What in the world? I think it is. Or 
Maybe I was just completely like, I don't know guys, I don't remember buying one without the pump and without a magazine, but it does seem to be what I paid for. I'm gonna go in the house, grab some uh, little bullets, pellets or whatever. I'll shoot it a couple times at a pizza box or something. We'll see the groupings, probably won't side it in today, but we will, you know, play around with what we got. The pellets we're shooting today are these right here. These are just to get some groupings on them. They're look, they, they look nice. I'm sure they'd kill something like a squirrel real easy, but it looks like what I'm gonna have to do every time is cock it there, Stick one in, one at a time, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just not the magazine exactly I was expecting. I'm gonna put like three, four shots on it. I just wanna see how it groupings and how it groups, and if it doesn't group, then figure out a way to maybe fix it. My box is over there. You might be able to see it. It's on the ground. Maybe not, I don't know. We'll see what we can do. The scope is very zoomed in, then. Well, it hard. It may need air. It may be running out. Yeah, I reckon. All right, guys, I think what it's doing is it's actually hitting the ground right in front of it and then bouncing up, so. I don't know, guys. I hope you liked the video. Kind of a basic one, but I don't know. We opened a box and we figured out what's in it. That's pretty good, I guess. If you want to watch an FAL video, you can click right up here. If you want to watch a, I don't, or another random unboxing, you can click this one. I don't really know. You do it if you want to. I can't make you do anything. <laughs>